Hello friends, welcome. In this video, we will see analysis of impulse turbine velocity vector diagrams. So friends, let's begin. Here friends, it is a vector diagrams of velocity. See here, this is vector diagram of velocities. As you can see, this one and here it is this one is a combined velocity diagram of both outlet and inlet velocity triangles now friends based on those diagrams we will see the important formulas of impulse turbine velocity vector diagrams so friends here first is force on the blade force on the blade so friends here by newton's second law of motion the tangential force is proportional to the rate of change of momentum that is here tangential force is equal to rate of mass flow into change in velocity in tangential direction direction okay friends if you want to learn uh, about uh, uh, simple impulse turbine and its velocity vector diagram and combined velocity diagram please watch my previous video the link of this video i have given in the description section of this video so again continue this so here friends tangential force f is equal to m dot s into bracket v w 1 minus into bracket minus v w 2 into bracket bracket close so here now we will simplify it f is equal to m dot s into bracket v w 1 plus v w 2 here friends v this is here minus sign because here friends vw2 is opposite in direction of vw1 that is here friends vw2 is opposite in direction of vw1 so here it is minus sign and here friends here m dot s is rate of mass flow of steam rate of mass flow of steam now friends second is here second is second formula is work done on the blade work done on the blade so here friends work is equal to force into displacement force into displacement okay here friends rate of work done that is rate of work done rate of work done that is friends here w dot is equal to force into blade velocity blade velocity and here friends this is again simplified as m dot s into bracket v w 1 plus v w 2 into bracket bracket close that is u is equal to now m dot s m dot s m dot s into u into v w here friends vw is equal to vw1 plus vw2 now friends again we will simplify this equation uh, w dot is equal to here m dot s and u is given as here 2 pi n r upon 60 2 pi n r upon 60 is equal to u and here it is our vw okay now 
the again uh, this is our work done rate of work done and we can also calculate the ten turning moment uh, so here friends turning moment moment is equal to t is equal to m dot s into r into v w here friends horsepower developed we can calculate hp also so here see here horse power is given as hp is equal to w dot upon 746 from this we, we, we can calculate the horsepower hp is equal to w dot upon 746 now next is that is our third formula is axial thrust axial thrust so here friends the vertical component of the absolute velocity is responsible to provide axial thrust on the bearing and the other components and therefore is undes undesirable the axial thrust on the wheel is obtained due to difference between the velocities of flow axial velocity at entrance and outlet of blade so here friends see here axial thrust is given as axial thrust is equal to mass flow rate into change of axial velocity change of axial velocity cd so here friends m dot s into vf1 minus vf2 okay this is the formula for axial thrust friends if you, uh, you want to know more about this all these terms and i am talking about uh, please watch my previous video the link of this video ha i have given in the description section of this video so here friends now fourth is our uh, blade efficiency blade efficiency now here friends in single stage impulse turbine the amount of energy supplied to the blades is equal to kinetic energy of entering steam that is v1 square upon 2 okay the blade efficiency also called as diagram efficiency so here it is also called as diagram efficiency okay uh, and here friends now blade efficiency can be calculated as n eta b is equal to this is the symbol of blade efficiency eta b is equal to work done on the blade work done on the blade upon energy supplied to the blade energy supplied to the blade okay now here friends and eta b is equal to now u v w upon v1 square upon 2 and now we will simplify it to u v w upon v1 square okay and this blade efficiency we can also be calculated as eta b is equal to change in kinetic energy per kg upon energy supplied per kg so here friends a change in kinetic energy per kg upon energy supplied per kg supplied per kg okay now friends this can be written as v1 square minus v2 square upon v1 square okay friends now here friends remember one thing um, this uh, blade efficiency uh, can be maximum when v1 square is minimum that is beta is equal to 90 degree or discharge is axial so here friends uh, see here blade efficiency that is uh, eta b will be maximum beta b is equal to maximum when when friends uh, v2 square 
is equal to minimum that is friends here when beta beta is equal to this is the angle beta is equal to 90 degree or discharge is axial or discharge is axial okay now friends the next is stage efficiency that is fifth one formula fifth formula fifth so here friends stage efficiency stage efficiency so here friends stage efficiency a stage of an impulse turbine consists of a nozzle set and a moving wheel the stage efficiency or correlates the enthalpy drop in nozzle and work done in the stage the stage efficiency is sometimes referred as gross efficiency so stage efficiency is also called as gross efficiency okay now friends uh, this is expressed as eta eta stage stage eta stage this is a symbol of stage efficiency eta stage is equal to work done on blade upon energy supplied per stage so here friends work done on blade upon energy supplied per stage okay this can be written as here also c eta stage is equal to u v w upon delta h okay here friends delta h is delta h is equal to h1 minus h2 okay specific enthalpy drop of stream in the nozzle okay now here friends further stage efficiency can also be stage efficiency that is uh, eta stage can also be written as blade efficiency blade efficiency into nozzle efficiency nozzle efficiency see oh efficiency now here friends eta stage is equal to eta blade efficiency eta b into eta n okay now here friends nozzle efficiency we need to uh, find out for this so here friends nozzle efficiency eta n is equal to v1 square upon 2 into bracket h o minus h1 okay now here friends h o is h o is equal to enthalpy of steam at the entrance of the nozzle enthalpy enthalpy of steam at the entrance of the nozzle okay now here friends and h1 is enthalpy of steam at nozzle exit h1 is equal to enthalpy of steam at nozzle exit okay now friends next is sixth one sixth one that is our sixth formula is net efficiency or overall efficiency so here friends net efficiency or overall efficiency okay so here friends the work delivered as a shaft output is always less than the work calculated from the velocity diagram due to mechanical friction thus the net efficiency is defined as the ratio of work delivered at the shaft to total energy supplied in stages stage okay now here friends see net efficiency efficiency is equal to this is given as network output at shaft upon total energy supplied to the stage so here friends net work output at shaft network output at shaft upon total 
एनर्जी सप्लाइड टू द स्टेज ओके सो हियर फ्रेंड्स दिस इज द ईटा ओवरऑल इज द सिंबॉल ऑफ नेट एफिशंसी और ओवरऑल एफिशंसीज सो दिस ईटा ओवरऑल इज इक्वल टू हियर ईटा एन इंटू ईटा स्टेज इंटू ईटा मेक हियर फ्रेंड्स ईटा एन इज नॉजल एफिशंसी ईटा स्टेज इज स्टेज एफिशंसी एंड ईटा मेक इज मैकेनिकल एफिशंसी सो हियर फ्रेंड्स हियर फ्रेंड्स एनर्जी कन्वर्टेड टू हीट बाय ब्लड फ्रिक्शन सो विच इज इक्वल टू द लॉस ऑफ काइनेटिक एनर्जी ड्यूरिंग फ्लो ओवर ब्लड्स सो हियर फ्रेंड्स सी एनर्जी सॉरी एनर्जी कन्वर्टेड टू हीट बाय ब्लेड फ्रिक्शन विच इज इक्वल टू लॉस ऑफ कायनेटिक एनर्जी लॉस ऑफ कायनेटिक एनर्जी ड्यूरिंग फ्लो ओवर ब्लेड्स सो हियर फ्रेंड्स दिस इज अगेन इक्वल टू एम डॉट एस इन टू वी वन स्क्वेर माइनस वी सॉरी नो वी वन स्क्वेर नॉट हियर ओके दिस इज इक्वल टू एम डॉट एस इन टू वी आर ओके वी आर वन स्क्वेर माइनस वी आर टू स्क्वेर अपॉन टू ओके दिस इज द इक्वेशन so next is friends our seventh formula is equal to blade velocity coefficient so here friends blade velocity co efficient so here friends due to presence of friction when steam passes over the blades the existing relative velocity is always less than inlet relative velocity so here friends v r 2 is equal to k into v r 1 okay here friends this k k is equal to blade velocity coefficient blade velocity coefficient this is blade velocity coefficient so friends in this video we have seen analysis of velocity vector diagrams of impulse turbine that is we have seen different important formulas of impulse turbine which we will need in to solve the problems based on simple impulse turbine Thank you friends for watching this video like share and comment for this video and subscribe my channel thank you